Hello, hello, hello again, and welcome back to Steins Gate. So, we made an ass of ourselves at a conference, and Mayuri lost her poor metal Upa. She is so- she's too- she's too cute to live. Mayuri tries calling out its name. I don't know if she truly expects a response. By the way, tutturu is Mayuri's catchphrase. Hmm. It means... Actually, I've never bothered to ask what it means. <laughs> Anyways, the metal upa is nowhere to be found. Maybe she didn't drop it in the assembly hall, but on the seventh floor landing near the capsule toy machines. Another possibility is that someone with an eye for rare items pilfered it. Just imagining the smug grin on that person's face makes me writhe in envy. You're describing yourself, dude. <laughs> See? <laughs> Whoa, wasn't expecting that from Mayuri. <laughs> Message for you, sir. Uh. Okay. <laughs> what was that? It sounded like one. I think so. Only the presenter and a few pe other people are left in the assembly hall. Including Mayuri and me, less than half the audience remains. Everybody looks at each other anxiously, startled by the scream. Even I cannot suppress a shiver. Bleh. First the explosion on the roof. Now this. What's going on here? Mayuri squeezes Mayuri. my hand tight. I take a deep breath, prepare myself and head in the direction of the scream. The echoes lead me down a dark, empty hallway on the same floor. I'm pretty sure it came from around that corner. I crouch down and turn the corner slowly, keeping my eyes and ears peeled for any signs of danger. And there, at the end of the passage, I see it. There's something on the ground. No, someone. Motionless. Who is it? The clothes are familiar. It can't be. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh. Well, yep, I kind of figured. Kurisu was the first to go. Makise Kurisu. Her face is turned away, but I know it's her. The impertinent genius girl I fought with ten minutes ago is now face down in a pool of bright red blood. She's dead. <laughs> Suddenly, I realize that I'm shaking. I want to run. Run away. I shouldn't have come. This is wrong. Someone killed Makise Kurisu, and there, there's no other explanation. Who would do such a thing? There's no one else here. I twist around in shock. Some other men have followed me. And every one of them is ghastly pale. They must have seen the body. A man cries out in panic. At this, everyone else starts screaming and running away. I follow them, of course. There's absolutely no reason to stay here. Concern for Makise Kurisu is superseded by my instinctive urge to flee. When I get back to the assembly hall, Mayuri is waiting for me with tears in her eyes. I grab Mari Mayuri's hand and run. I race down the stairs, trying to drive the image of Kurisu's dead body from my mind, but I can't. The redness of her blood is burned into my mind, more than the sight of the body itself. That was my first time seeing a dead body. Is this what it's like? When I realized that she was dead, I felt chilling terror and a surge of nausea. That was all I felt. Fear and disgust. Shouldn't there be something more? I guess I just didn't know her that well. Hello? Okay. Oh. Keyword added, Dori. Okay. I finally stop once we get out to the main street. Chuodori. My chest 
pounds. My breathing labored from running down the stairs at full speed. Do they not have elevators in that place? Mayuri doesn't seem to comprehend the situation. I guess it's because she didn't see the body. She's not even breathing hard. She looks slow, but she's actually pretty fast on her feet. I take several deep breaths. The color of that blood still stains my brain. But I've calmed down a bit. Makise Kurisu is dead. And I don't know who the killer is. Sirens in the distance. I guess an ambulance will be here soon. Then the police will arrive, and this area will become a crime scene. But for now, the crowds milling through Akihabara have no idea what has happened. Moe? Why is Moe in the tips? <laughs> Everyone is going about their business as usual, the never-ending search for electronics, Moe, and porn. For, for a translation, Moe is basically like, so cute, it burns? It's like, some people find it erotic, I don't understand. <laughs> Just another day in Akihabara. I take my phone out of my pocket, perhaps out of reflex. I'm not sure what I plan to do with it. Oh, I know. My friend Daru. I'll tell him what happened just now, since he knows about Makise Kurisu. I suppose it might be disrespectful to the victim, but my adrenaline is pumping. I can't make calm decisions after witnessing something like that firsthand. That's how humans are, after all. Hmm. We're not as special as we like to believe. At the end of the day, we're nothing but dirty, slime-like flesh. Whoa. I'm so edgy. Our souls fester like semen left to rot in the womb. What? What? That's how we humans are, okay? While wallowing in a bit of angst, I begin to type on my phone. Dude. You know she's dead. You know, you know she's dead. Someone stabbed Makise Kurisu, don't know who, looked bad, hope she's okay. I don't know if she was stabbed. That just seemed like the most logical explanation, given the amount of blood in the absence of a gunshot. On the other hand, I didn't write that she was dead, even though that I'm pretty sure she was. I can't exactly explain why I didn't. <laughs> if I had to say, I guess I felt like writing it down would have set it in stone. It might, be, it might make me feel guilty as well. The thought brings a smirk to my face. It's not like I'm the one who killed her. Ha <laughs> ha! Why should I feel guilty? Ha <laughs> ha! I just saw someone's death up close and only a few minutes later, I'm smiling. Am I really that cruel and cold? Well, I am a fiendish mad scientist, so it suits me. Ah, he's, he's back in his fantasy. Okay. <laughs> I finish typing and place my thumb over the send button. And then I press down. Okay, sending. Uh, what? Okay. Something happened. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Wait, look around. There's nobody here. They're all gone. <laughs> Summer break. Noon. The busiest street in town. Just now thousands of pedestrians vanished into thin air. It's probably because there's like some sort of paradox happening with two of you existing at once. It's probably a bad thing. Is this a dream? Am I hallucinating? I don't know. But they're gone. I saw them vanish with my own two eyes while I was staring at my phone. Suddenly, bum bum. <laughs> I stand petrified, speechless, and alone on an empty street. Desperate to find someone, anyone, I look up. And there at the top of Radio Kaikon. Uh, where is sticking out from the eighth ho floor event hall, just where we were. A little bit further up. Oh, hello. It is a satellite. It is a crashed satellite. <laughs> Wasn't that just sitting on the on the roof, just perfectly fine earlier? All right. Title sequence. 
there is no end though there is a start in the something or other. Something rubs. Okay, there's a lot of words in there. I'm just gonna appear and disappear and run into spaces where I can't read them. So I gather the satellite is important. <laughs> and we're going to get more scenes with Makise Kurisu. And a lot of other girls. Some of them will be erotic. This is what I've gathered from the opening sequence. <laughs> also, don't drop your phone. <laughs> oh. Alright. Prologue of the beginning and the end. Achievement unlocked. Very nice. Chapter 1, Time, Travel, Paranoia. Maybe we get to make decisions now. Okay, alright. Fourth wall, broken. Hi. I am answering you, you just can't hear me. Oh my goodness. Please don't. <laughs>俺たちはテレビのモニターの中にいるように見えるだろうな。だがそれは大きな間違いだ。No, <笑> It's not like you're a program that I ran on my machine. Uh, okay, backlog. Okay, so... Alright, so that's basically everything that we've read up to this point. Wait. Ah, okay, I must have accidentally hit my uh, scrolly button. No, I don't believe you, no. まあいい。貴様には分かりやすく。俺たちのことについて説明してやろうではないか。<笑> Why would you want to do that? <laughs> Bless her. <まあ、少し黙っている。笑> <laughs> Do I have to write this down? I'm very bad at following directions, honestly. I'm not, I'm not, I'm gonna get lost. I'm gonna get terribly lost if I have to physically go to your lab. I assure you, I can miss it, like, by a thousand miles. Okay. いかに電気街である秋葉原というのも需要があるとは思えない。Therefore it's the perfect cover. 
ブラウン管工房店長である天王寺というおっさんはこのビルのオーナーでもあるゆえ、ね、に今野球ピッチで都市開発が進みしかも高騰しているこの秋葉原であろうと道楽丸出しの店を構えていられるというわけだ OK why is this relevant information? 人を見る目はあるようでなこの俺のカリスマ性を見抜きビル2階をまるまるワンフロアただ同然で貸してくれたのだふわっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっ今のところ所属研究員はオカリンオカリンそこはラボメンって言わなきゃ所属研究員じゃなくてラボメンすなわちラボラトリーメンバーは俺を含めて3人であるラボメンナンバー001ラボ創設者にして狂気のマッドサイエンティストであるこの俺You shouldn't, you shouldn't be praising yourself as a mad scientist. That's an insane mad scientist. That's one, that's redundant. Two, it's nothing to be proud of. I'm just going to keep referring to him as Okari. Purely because it's cute and it makes him mad. Why? てってるーマユシーです着るんじゃなくて作るのが趣味だよ最後に、okay. スーパーハカーラボメンナンバー003橋田イタルだスーパーハカーって呼ぶなよスーパーハッカーだろ上皇そんな我々3人で構成される未来がちょっと研究所の活動のそのものズバリ発明である詳細は、わがラボのホームページを見てくれ。もちろん、闇の支配権力と戦うための未来ガジェットが最優先事項だが、その研究から生成する副産物的な発明も多い。というか、今のところはそっちばかりだ。Yeah, it's kind of like the people who were trying to find a cure for Alzheimer's, but instead found a way to regrow teeth! すでに、俺は8つの未来ガジェットを完成させた。だがこれはまだ上昇でしかない。未来ガジェットのアイスキャンプに行くと、まだ上昇でしかない。未来ガジェットのアイスキャンプに行くと、まだ上昇でしかない。未来ガジェットのアイスキャンプに行くと、まだ上昇でしかない。未来ガジェットのアイスキャンプに行くと、まだ上昇でしかない。未来ガジェット Like, are, are your inventions supposed to counter earthly desires? I'm not entirely up on what it is you're doing here. Well, sh she got the gender wrong. Well, technically, the translators got the gender wrong. Because, like, stuff and things. I don't know why I got on this topic, but basically,、um, pe people don't really mention people's genders as,、uh, like, a pronoun thing when you're just talking to them. It's. I could have been anyone. Japanese is fine. Never mind. I'm gonna cut that. What do you mean that? Don't look at me. What do you mean, don't look at me? No. That's, that's a wonderful case of projection you got there, sweetie. She is so self aware. She's genre savvy. ダルコの大好きな二次元の女の子たちもそうなのそれは別、mm -hmm. あの子たちは僕の嫁だから
all 20 of them. でもさ、マユシの言ったことって興味深いテーマじゃん。もし仮に僕たちがゆえに、そのような議論は不毛。世界の支配構造を打ち砕く方法について考える方がよほど有意義だ。中二病。Right. Thank you. Thank you. I forgot your name, dude, in the hat, but thank you. Okay, we've re-entered the Chunibyo site. And with that, I'm going to close this episode because things just got like a thousand percent weirder. So thank y'all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!